When the COVID-19 pandemic first hit, there was a massive global shortage of medical grade masks. To meet the urgent needs during this emergency, Razor quickly responded by manufacturing high quality, certified medical grade masks for the frontline workers. Today, we have donated more than 1 million masks globally. But now that we're well and truly settled into this new normal, we see the need for a face mask that is safe, social and sustainable. Introducing Project Hazel, the world's smartest mask. For safety, the mask is classified as surgical N95 respirator, which provides a high fluid resistance that protects against droplets and splashes. Its active ventilation brings in cool air and releases heat produced from exhaling, which also prevents a buildup of CO2 in the mask. Aside from safety, we also looked how we could improve social interaction with the mask, as most designs cover the face and muffle your speech. Our smart mask has a clear, transparent design, which makes communicating easier, as others can now see you speak and pick up your facial cues. Thanks to a built-in mic and amplifier combo, our patent-pending voice amp technology ensures your speech isn't muffled even when you're masked up. The mask is waterproof and scratch resistant, making it ideal for frequent use. And because it's made of recyclable plastic, this sustainable design greatly minimizes wastage as compared to disposable masks. A smart mask should also be super comfortable to wear. The silicon guard sits snugly around your face to prevent air leaking in and keeps the mask itself from touching or resting on your mouth so you can talk naturally. By designing this mask to be safe, social, sustainable, comfortable and personalised, Project Hazel is our answer to what the world's smartest mask can be. Bravo, I've been practicing my Vanna White skills for this very moment. Are you ready? I say we do it ready. Three, two, one. Voila, this is the official reveal of the concept for the world's smartest mask. And I am so excited to dive into the specifics of this. But before we do, I think we need to go over some of the reasoning that led yeah. to this very moment, because in the video itself, you already heard them talking directly about the impacts that they've made through mask production. Yeah, you might have seen it at RazorCon, actually, as soon as the, the pandemic started to hit uh, in uh, all across the world, the uh, production factories, uh, Razor started producing masks for frontline workers. And actually, the Razor community was a big part of that mm -hmm. and actually making sure that over one million masks were delivered to frontline users. So you and I got a talk, chance to talk to some of the Razor product team about this mask and really asking what's the next step that Razor can do. And here's your first concept unveil at CES 2021. It's going to be the world's smartest mask. And there's an exploration here of some really innovative technology. Let's talk about the pillars of Project Hazel. Now, as you can see on your screen, being safe, social, sustainable, comfortable, and personalized are at the forefront of the design of this concept. And first things first, talking about the safety, because yep. that is the priority when it comes to wearing a mask, right? Keeping yourself safe and you need to make sure that you have those specific cord or considerations yeah. rather. Like for instance, it is a surgical N95 respirator, not something that's just slapped on there. It's something that you can rely upon. Yeah, absolutely. I think the other cool two things that one of them that you saw from the video is going to be the active ventilation. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be cool air in and hot air out, which is going to be fantastic. I mean, right now in North America or in the winter and even in Vegas, the nights have been freezing, so it's not too bad. But I tell you what, in the heat of the summer, especially for all the, all the local folks here in Vegas, I know that when it's 112 outside, something like active ventilation in a mask would be really welcome, but also active sterilization in the mm -hmm. mask as well. Uh, it's pretty fantastic. So that covers kind of safety. Like you said, that's going to be paramount for this type of mask. But I think one of the things that you and I are most excited about, and we talked to the Project Hazel team this week about, are the social aspects. Because let's, to, 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 to get real for a second, it, it has kind of sucked for 10 months, 10 plus months. We can't see people smile. We can't see their, their kind of the way their excitement in their face. We've only seen half of everyone's face for the past uh, 11 months. And, it's, and it has really been, I think it's taken uh, a lot of toll on people. So the social aspects of the mask are really cool. I've been trying to force myself to be more of an eyebrow communicator when it's we're wearing easy. these masks and it's just not easy. So that was one of the things I immediately noticed was just the clear overall plastic capping here so that you can actually see what people look like under it without Imagine. sacrificing Imagine. any of the safety. And then also thinking about the fact, how many times have you tried to talk to someone through a mask, you know, at a safe distance and you're trying to push and strain yep. your voice over that? Well, you have voice amp technology from Razor 
answer in here too. So you can have comfort knowing that you're speaking at your normal volume and it's getting communicated effectively yeah, to yeah. whoever you, you desire. You and I have been yelling through the masks the whole show and then the, and the whole time in prep for this. And I think that's one thing. Another cool thing though, is certainly that low light mode. If you think yeah. about just being able to actually turn on. So if you're in a scenario where it is dark or, or anything like that, you're actually gonna be able to see the low light mode kind of lighting up mm -hmm. uh, and being able to give you that. So I think it's pretty fantastic if you see the lights coming on just a bit there in the mask. Probably hard to tell in this light just because of course we are daytime here in Vegas, but you got actually light kind of that just illuminates the face just a little bit, which is another great social aspect. But that brings us into all the sustainable features of the mask as well. Yeah, I mean, I love the low light, right? Because you don't want it blasting your face. You want it to be uh, nice and lit. And when it comes to that sustainability, we're talking about how many masks have been donated and things of the sort. But or even how many are used, right? I think the yeah. latest that we heard from the Razor team was over 3 million single-use masks disposed every single day, which, first of mm -hmm. all, great that everyone is, is, is masking up, but the toll that that's taking on the environment uh, is, is, is pretty substantial. Yeah, so you got to think, how do you get around that? How do you try and make an improvement in that aspect and our footprint that we're making on the earth? And well, replaceable filters, having the rechargeable ventilators, these are all aspects that are going to allow you to be using these. And then the duration itself is actually applicable for daily use. So it's not like, yeah, I went on my dog walk for an hour and then now I gotta go home and charge this thing up and what am I really gonna do at this point? You have that opportunity to really enjoy that sustainability. Wireless charging case I mean, with a UV yeah, sterilizer, gotta, by the way, if I you mean, didn't know. Uh, the case is so great too, just the way that that, that that works right now. These prototypes, of course, just easy charge cable and you're able to kind of set everything up. So I think the sustainability of the mask is, is incredible, but also something that is super important, and uh, it's, it's hard to say which of these is the most important, but this one's up there, uh, just comfort and how this mask sits. I think there's a few things that have to do with that. The first of that's gonna be, of course, adjustable ear loops and customizable sizes that they're thinking about, but also not just that, but the, the, the silicone around the mask. I think that's an important one because with a lot of these masks, you, you do have kind of like openings and, and areas for droplets to get in and things like that. As we settle into this new normal, a mask that is comfortable and as safe as it can be is definitely going to be important. Yeah, and as somebody, I know I'm not alone. There's got to be somebody watching that also experiences this that has really sensitive skin. Having something completely across the whole way can be difficult, but silicone on the other hand, I mean, I haven't had any issues ever when putting that on my face. So having something that can still seal effectively while having that airflow available mm -hmm. so you don't feel suffocated within it is really, really cool. But you know what's also super cool? I was going to say, there's <laughs> one more thing we got to talk about with this mask. A very razor-esque type I'm going to let you have the honors, Kat. All right, I am ready, y'all. You ready? So, you know, we showed you low light. We got our actual chroma RGB on the outside as well. So if you do want to look extra fancy, you definitely can. And that's the greatest thing, right? I just want to look cool. I want to look cool while I'm doing my things. Uh, yeah, of course, it would not be a Razor concept without some chroma integration. Mm -hmm. You could see it right there. Um, and I think, this, as you mentioned, Gabby, not just the way that, the, of course, this being a concept, those of you who might just be jumping in to check out this mask reveal, one of the concepts coming out from Razor this year at CE. Yes, but uh, one of the coolest things about these two is the way that the case charge and the ways that the, these prototypes charge as well. It's just so easy. And I think um, of all the things that, you know, we need from a technological perspective, um, this is a pretty exciting one. And I'm, you know, I got my fingers crossed that we might see some more from Project Hazel in the future from Razor because I'm so excited about this. But we did have a social campaign. Mm -hmm. You might have seen on Twitter uh, all the Razor social channels that kind of lit up and said, we want you to guess what this year is. Uh, this year's CES is about one of the product unveils. And I uh, saw so a lot of people, they went to Photoshop, they inverted the yeah. image, they kind of cheated, they <laughs> saw that it was a mask. So many of you guessed that it was a mask and that's exactly what Project Hazel is. But we're gonna go ahead and announce that winner now of that social giveaway. Yep, somebody guessed it right. Somebody is winning a set of peripherals and that somebody is Stelian Langa from Romania. Congratulations, your guessing skills were on par, which means you get rewarded to boot with those peripherals. We're just giving away so much love today. We really are and I gotta say, uh, a huge shout out to the whole Razor team and everyone working on Project Hazel because it's so cool to get these prototypes just got here just before uh, the show, just in time for CES. And it's really exciting to be able to, to hear from them on something that the, you know, the, the world really desperately uh, needs innovation in because I think we're getting tired of the current masks we're wearing. And I think the new normal has been the new normal for a little bit too long. So I am personally really excited. Well, that's one of the biggest things, right? I think when wearing the masks, people realizing just how this is the new normal. So if it's something that you're going to be doing on the daily, you might as well be doing it in the most effective and stylish way yeah. possible.
I love the fact that every time we step into the store, we get to learn about something new, whether it's Project Hale, Hazel with the concept of the world's smartest mask, or last time we were here and we got to learn about the Isker because that was the first official move into the gaming chair space, always bringing something new to us. Absolutely. I think it was cool to see that. It was also cool to talk to we, the Razer Isker team leads as well, talking about the mm -hmm. innovation that they did in terms of lumbar support, that they looked at competitor gaming chairs, what they were offering, what they weren't offering. But the cool news is that here, uh, as far as our second concept announcement, we've got more in store there. So let's go ahead and check it out. 